Hey all Dustin Schaefer here, and we're just talking about fasting. I get this question a lot. Like, does drinking ketones interrupt my fast? Is it messing things up? And, uh, well, this is interesting. I'm going to take a few minutes and just explain some things to you here because I think people get misled by the concept because they, they get in their mind thinking that, uh, basically, people are trying to follow rules that they don't understand. Uh, and the real answer is, what's your what's your goal? Like, what result are you looking for? That really is what you need to know. If you're looking for fat loss or energy or vitality or you're looking for longevity and health, well, there's a lot of variables in place. If you are if you have a, a big health challenge and you're trying to clean out your GI tract and, and heal the gut lining, well, it's, it's a little, little bit different. So I have some research here I just decided to pull up because, well, that's what I do. And this is a molecular mechan uh, mechanism mechanisms and clinical applications. They're all around fasting with Dr. Longo and Dr. Madison, or sorry, Matson. And they talked about fasting and they kind of defined it as, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of variations. It's really being in a significant caloric deficit without being in starvation. That was their definition of fasting because religions around, religions around the world, um, basically, you know, go 40 hours, 24 hours, there's a book out there, a really famous one, 40 Hours, right? I don't know if you've heard of that one before. But um, uh, there's that's a fasting state. What it said is that there's elimination of food for that amount of time. Although, they then they stated that, you know what? You can still be in a really good fasted state. It's called intermittent fasting, where you only eat between a certain hour window. But the reality is, for their research, was it had to come down to is just being in a, a, a caloric deficit beyond like a fat burning traditional 500 cal calories burn. So you'd be maybe consuming anywhere from, uh, let's say hundred calories, no calories to hundred calories to 500 calories. They would still consider that a fasting state because the primary mechanism of fasting that they're looking at for most importantly, longevity, vitality, health, fat loss, all these ba major benefits that most people are all looking for, what they're looking for is your insulin levels to be nice and regulated, no uh, in instability or spikes of blood sugar. They're also looking for elevated ketone levels. So when people go, well, does my does drinking ketones wreck my fast? Does having keto cream wreck my fast? Well, if it doesn't impact those things, then no, it doesn't based on their, their science and research. And, and so it does not inter interfere with their fast. Um, and the reality is, is that fasting is just an elimination of something, right? You're reducing or eliminating something out of your diet. Um, what people think it means is I don't ever eat food again and I don't ever put anything, any calorie in my body for a certain amount of time. Well, that's an extreme measure that um, may or may not actually work well for most people because of the extremeness of it, especially if you do it for longer periods of time. So they recommend to do intermittent fasting. They recommend 24 hour fast as long as you go to no longer than 72 hours, unless you're using guidance. So if you're, if you're going past 72 hours, you should be really working with a health professional. So I thought it was really, really cool. So drinking ketones, I drink it every day. I intermittent fast every day and it does not break my fast. It maintains my, 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 my numbers are all stable. I feel great. My ketone levels are elevated. I have vitality, energy. Um, I'm scientifically going to live longer, have more health benefits, improve my brain function, still maintain muscle mass. That's really important for five and a half years, almost six years doing this, maintaining muscle mass and strength, even though I'm eating less. But I had a lady hit me the other day. She's like, well, Dustin, I, I, I like to work out and I want to improve my performance. And I go, well, and she goes, but is drinking ketones before my workout going to mess up my fast? I go, well, what's your goal again? Increased performance? I go, well, do you perform well when you're fasting? And she goes, well, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I go, well, drink ketones before and if you perform better, then it's achieving your goal, <laughs> if that makes sense. So people try to put everything into a box. And the reality is, is that what you're really wanting to do is you're wanting to eliminate processed food, eliminate excessive food, create windows where you're not overeating food that requires heavy digestion um, or requires your blood sugar to have to stabilize and shift really quickly. You want to reduce or eliminate those things. If you're a fitness person, fast on your off days. Perform. I mean, I used to eat two meals before I workout for most of my adult life. I don't do that anymore, but I used to because I perform better that way. So... I would tell you this, if you're going to fast, which I encourage you to do intermittent fasting, 24 fast, 60 hour keto reboot fast, I would encourage you to utilize ketone technology during that process. Why? Because it improves ket uh, ketogenesis. You get more ketones in your system. You have more energy. You feel better. You don't, you're not as craving as much. So therefore, when you come out of your fast, you don't over binge eat, which can, you can negate some of the fasting states. And the long-term quality of brain function, muscle function is there to support you. So it's, it's, it's a no-brainer in my mind. I actually also encourage people that, um, that, want, that need to or want to increase their fat intake, have your keto cream in the morning as a preliminary.
long fast because it's still going to maintain that same standard. So does drinking ketones break your fast? No, unless you live in a box and you think that you have to do these extreme things every single day to be successful, then you're just weird. Like I used to be, I used to be that guy. So drink your ketones uh, during your fasting states and you will feel better than ever y'all. So that's the one, two punch on fasting. Cheers.